Hello there friends and viewers, it is the Lonely Hunter and today I am changing it a bit. I am playing some sabotage on the map Oasis and uh, I am giving you something different that you see around. Around you are seeing some TDM, some domination, some free for all, but uh, I decided to play some sabotage because I think it is a really great game type. I'm bringing my AK in the game and I saw that that ballistic vest was not available so I pick up the other. There are ballistic vests everywhere. Everyone is using support because support does good for you and your teammates. Remember that. And even though many people hate on support because they believe that it is a cheap way to have a good game, I disagree. I have to say support is a really good a type of point streak for you to help your teammates and to get objective goals so you shouldn't really confuse the support point streaks with the juggernaut perk especially the ballistic vest right here with the juggernaut perk because i have seen that people get the ballistic vests and uh, they are pretty much invincible and some other people are really easy to kill for example for me the ballistic vest tends to disappear a lot quicker and that happens because of my connection well again the ballistic vest comes in form of a connection problem because if you have a good connection the ballistic vest is gonna be more powerful and if you have a bad connection the ballistic vest will disappear like that it is like you're taking damage let's say for example you're taking a lot of damage and you can survive, you can hide behind the wall or you can take some damage, little damage to no damage at all uh, while you are in cover and still die behind that cover so this happens right here for me the ballistic vest, well it is a fantasy let's say uh, for me, I cannot really use it to protect myself I believe that I protect myself but this does not happen here I am using the specialist point streak and I am acting selfishly around here and um, this is not the way to go for you if you want to play sabotage if you want to play sabotage just try to be more defensive and help your team by staying closer to your bomb site if you are not a good slayer running around and getting kills but if you are a better slayer and you want to help your team more you can take some pressure on the enemy bomb site and try to help your teammates plant the bomb so as I am doing here, I am walking around their bomb site, and uh, I believe that I have the skills to slay them down and uh, I think that I have got it all in time planting the bomb, but the IMS takes me out. Well, I didn't support the IMS killstreak from the beginning, I didn't believe that it was useful at all. I believe that it is a game breaking killstreak because no one even notices it until he hears the sound and when you hear the sound, it's all over pretty much so in order to avoid the IMS just for the IMS I would really recommend for you to get C-Trap putting C-Trap as your perk would be the best the ideal perk in order for you to just escape some situations and uh, just saying if you are facing a sniper that uh, is not so skillful really humiliate him as I did that before I knifed that guy because I want to humiliate him not because I saw that uh, he couldn't get me and I was in a close range so when you really want to uh, kill somebody in style you have to humiliate him by knifing him and uh, that was the right thing to do and this is one other good thing about sabotage that uh, I really enjoyed when you die you don't uh, respawn immediately and uh, you have to watch your teammates and uh, I really love that fact because I am getting to see how other people play because hey I'm not the best guy out there I'm not getting beast KDs or beastly gameplays so even though I am having some decent games here and there I'm not that beast of a player there are better players around so I am trying to dissect their gameplay keep the good spots for myself and uh, try to improve my own gameplay around here I am let's say waiting for them to spawn around this building and uh, slightly take them out one by one and uh, I am doing that uh, because this bomb site is right here and that guy puts tactical insertion I cannot recommend at all putting tactical insertion you are giving the guy a free kill even if you are playing a team based game you cannot uh, 
use the tactic and insertion right here because this guy that kills you for sure knows the tactical insertion and uh, I am now going on a good streak right here because I see them approaching the area and I am trying to take as much kills as possible and uh, I am trying to take as many points as possible for my team and uh, I am taking them out I am now having the specialist bonus and uh, I am having all the perks right now so it gives me an extra awareness of like the IMS thing is or for uh, every other kill streak that uh, has been set or any other equipment that has been set around so I am now taking them out with uh, an easier let's say approach and uh, I can now turn the tides advantageously for my team because uh, I am getting the team now an unfair advantage as you can see here I can knife this dude and uh, it was pretty much easy to take out the enemy team if I have now the specialist bonus so uh, I am trying here to maintain the specialist bonus but you cannot you cannot really hide from the kill streak even if you don't want it for this kill streak that uh, sprays around the map the missiles it is not really great and uh, you cannot escape from it and uh, as you can see here the time is almost up my teammates have planted the bomb successfully i didn't do much but i hope that i've helped them so my advice is to try out sabotage with a team or not it is a really fun game mode to play and uh, Tell me your opinions about Sabotage or tell me your opinions about any other game type that you would like to see in a video. And uh, that's it guys for now. See you around. Peace.